Hey everybody, this is Ryan from One Fat Frog, and I'm here with Pat from Elkhorn Smokehouse from Eureka, Montana. When you're cooking, when you're doing your barbecue, do bears smell it and come from close? You know, it's funny, they seem to avoid it. They've broken into my taco box when I've got a pork butt in the smoker 10 feet away from my boat. That's something we don't see very often. We have potential for bear attacks. I'm gonna buy a bear fence, an electrified fence, to put around the trailer. We just have Roger. It would work for you, too. Yeah. I don't think Roger would get into it if you got shocked him. <laughs> well, this video's over. <laughs> what is this, into lunch? We're gonna call this, not out to lunch, into lunch. Let's get a table over here to prep some, for some brisket. Let's start from the beginning. All right. These looked insane when you first came up. Let's get some brisket. I'm so, so excited. We have some pit masters here on, on site. Whenever they're here, I'm just, I'm all over that. I'm a sponge for this kind of stuff. We got a 13 pound brisket today. We're gonna, we're gonna work our magic and, and, and I'm excited. Woo! She's a sponge. <laughs> warm me. Look at that beauty. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this beautiful brisket against the grain because that breaks up the muscle fibers evenly so the meat becomes more tender. You also want the width of your slices to be pencil width or even a little bit smaller. Now at this point, we like to take out the piece that they call the chef's choice. This is the tenderest, best tasting piece of the whole meat and clearly we're not sharing this with Rogers. Okay, that's uncalled for. Chef's choice. Mm. Wow, it just like dissolves. Mm -hmm. It's going crazy on it. I cannot stop I eating. I know, that's like the third one in, in the two seconds that I've seen you eat right now. So I've tried a piece of the brisket. I'm gonna try to talk while my mouth is still kind of processing what just went through. Uh, brisket's amazing. Tell me, Pat, what, what kind of food are we doing here at your Elkhorn uh, Smokehouse? What kind of stuff are we gonna be cooking off this trailer? We're gonna be doing some brisket. We're gonna be doing pulled pork, uh, some mac and cheese, coleslaw. We'll also do some some smoked chicken, fairly simple. I got more cartridge for him. Sorry. I seriously can't stop eating this. Anytime the camera goes away, I'm just gonna reach for another one. Now, what's the next step after this? Hopefully we're gonna be able to get into some distribution centers, get the seasonings out there a little bit more, and then just do the special events to really showcase what the seasonings can do and, and then convince people that they can take this stuff home and do it themselves. Anyone, by the way, if you're interested, come down cooking for us. We'll try your food, we'll eat it here on property and uh, feature you the best we can. This is, this is, Robert, this is our new segment. Let's just do this all day. Just have people come in. Come in, yeah. Cook brisket for us on their smokers here in the warehouse. In fact, you can just stay here if you want. Yeah. <laughs> like you're hired. This is just, this is the Elkhorn show. I'll tell my new boss. <laughs> Roger, I think this is probably one of my favorite out the lunch episodes we've ever done. This is amazing. Uh, sounds uh, sounds terrific. Sounds sorry. It looks like it tastes good. So, I would, I'm tempted to share this, Roger. That's okay. I don't want it. No. No. No, it's all right. Oh, really? The the one time I'm like, maybe you can have some. You're like, no. <laughs> what kind of reverse ecology is this? Roger, eat this. <laughs>